Good day everyone. The topic that will be discussed in this video is about introduction to the information and communications technology. Let us first define ICT. ICT or Information and Communications Technology or Technologies is the infrastructure and components that enable modern computing. Although there is no single universal definition of ICT, it is widely accepted to refer to all devices, networking components, applications, and systems that when combined allow people and organizations like businesses, nonprofit organizations, governments, and enterprises to interact in the digital world. What is the different uses of ICT? ICT is an important part of our lives and in all aspects in our society. Here are some of the uses or here are some of the uses of ICT. First is communication. So ICT plays an important role in our communication. However, in the past, uh, we would write letters and send them via post mail. However, with the help of ICT, we can now communicate with our loved ones more easily. We can use cellular phones to communicate with others even if they are thousands of miles away. Next, we have job opportunities. Because ICT enables organizations to operate more efficiently, hiring employees with ICT skills is critical to the smooth operation of any business. Employees who can effectively use ICT systems have more time to focus on aspects of their job that require soft skills. Next is education. To communicate, create, disseminate, store, and uh, manage information, school employ a wide range of ICT tools. In some cases, ICT has also become an integral part of the teaching-learning interaction, such as when chalkboards are replaced with interactive digital whiteboards, smartphones, or other devices for learning during class time. Next is socializing. The internet and social media offers a variety of benefits and opportunities for young people to empower themselves in a variety of ways. People or young people can maintain social connections and support networks that would otherwise be impossible to maintain and they have access to more information more than ever. Other uses of ICT may include attaining services from businesses, hospitals, utilities, government, purchasing products and services, doing personal and business transactions, expressing social advocacies and awareness. So what is the impact of ICT in the society since it is widely used? First is the positive impact of ICT in the society. We have access to information as positive impact. Now, access to information means uh, or services has increased as the internet has grown in popularity. Better and often cheaper communications such as VOIP phone and instant messaging are some of the benefits of this increased access. Next, we have improved access to education. This is learning like uh, your course, online tutorials, and new learning methods such as interactive multimedia and virtual reality are examples for this. Next, we have new tools, new opportunities. Now, ICT provides access to previously unavailable tools such as digital cameras, photo editing software, and high-quality printers. While uh, screen magnification or screen reading software allows partially sighted or blind people to work with ordinary text 
rather than Braille. Next, we have communication. Savings can be uh, realized by using VOIP instead of a traditional phone or email messaging instead of post mail, video conferencing instead of traveling to meetings, and e commerce websites instead of sales catalogs. ICT helps gain access to larger or even global markets. Next is information management. Customer information is mined for data to create lists for target advertising. Improve stock control, resulting in less waste and higher cash flow among other benefits. Next is security. Now, ICT solves or reduces some security issues, for example, encryption methods that can keep data safe from unauthorized people while it is being stored or sent electronically. Next, we have ICT enables people to participate in a larger or global society. Another is distance learning. Now, students can gain access to educational materials from all over the world. Next, we have ICT relates or facilitates the ability to perform impossible experiments by using simulations. And lastly, creation of new, more interesting jobs. Let us now discuss the negative impact of ICT in the society. The first negative impact is job loss. Now, because of automation, uh, is replacing manual operations, okay? Uh, for example, robots could replace workers on an assembly line. Another negative impact is reduced personal interaction. Now, most people require some form of social interaction in their da uh, daily lives. And if they are unable to meet and converse with others, they may feel isolated and unhappy. Third is reduce physical activity. Now, this can lead to health problems such as obesity, heart disease, and diabetes. Next negative impact is cost. Now, many pieces of ICT hardware and software are, are expensive to buy and maintain. Running an ICT system usually necessitates the use of specialized personnel. And there is also the challenge of keeping up with ever-changing technology. Lastly, we have competition. If the organization competes for customers, donations, or other forms of funding on a national or even international scale, it may lose out to other organizations that can provide the same service for less money. The next topic is the applications of ICT in our daily lives. So we have uh, 20 applications mentioned or will be discussed to you. The first one is business. So business, they enable communication with people both inside and outside the organization by utilizing various technologies such as email. They can be used to promote the company and allow to direct customer or allow for direct customer interaction. Next is education. Now, computers can be used to provide audiovisual packages, interactive exercises, and remote learning such as uh, tutoring over the internet to students. Next, we have healthcare. Now, computers continue to revolu uh, revolutionize healthcare. Now, in addition to digitalized uh, medical information, uh, which makes it easier to store and access patients' data, complex information can be analyzed by software to aid in the uh, discovery of diagnosis and the search for disease risk. Next, we have retail and trade. Computers can be used to buy and sell products online, 
allowing sellers to reach a larger market with lower overheads and buyers to compare prices, read reviews, and select delivery options. Next, we have government. Now, computers are used by various government departments to improve the quality and efficiency of their services. Next is marketing. Computers make marketing campaigns more precise by analyzing and manipulating data, as an example. Another is science. Uh, scientists were among the first to use computers as a tool for work. Computers can be used in science for research, sharing information with other specialists both locally and globally, and collecting, categorizing, analyzing, and storing data. Next, we have publishing. Computers can be used to create almost any type of pub publications. Newsletters, marketing materials, fashion magazines, novels, and newspapers are examples of such materials. Next, we have arts and entertainment. Computers are now used in almost every branch of the arts as well as a broader or broader community uh, and entertainment industry. Next, we have communication. Families can communicate through audio and video. Businesses can hold meetings without remote, remote participants, with remote participants. And news organizations can conduct interviews without the use of a film crew. As an example, of course. Next, we have banking and finance. The majority of banking in developed countries is now done online. Computers can be used to check your account balance, transfer funds, or pay off credit cards online. Next, we have transport. Automobiles, trains, planes, and boats are becoming increasingly automated. With computer used to maintain safety and navigation system as well as to drive, fly, or even steer. Next, we have navigation. Computers and satellites have made it possible to pinpoint your exact location, know which way you are moving on a map, and have a good idea of amenities and points of interest nearby. Next, we have work from home. Workers can access data, communicate, and share information without having to communicate to a traditional office. Managers can remotely monitor their employees' productivity. Another, we have military. Now, the military makes extensive use of computers for training, data analysis, guided missiles and drones, and a variety of other purposes. Next, we have social and romance. Now, social media allows people to communicate in real time via text or audio over long distances, as well as share photos, videos, and memes. Next, we have booking vacations. Travelers can use computers to research schedules, compare route options, and purchase plane, train, or even bus tickets. Next, we have security and surveillance. Computers are increasingly being used in conjunction with other technologies to track people and goods. Next, we have weather forecasting. Computers can process the large amounts of meteor uh, meteorological information such as weather. Finally, we have robotics. One of the first applications of robotics was in the manufacture of automobiles. Now, since then, uh, robots have been developed to explore areas where humans are unable to go to assist law enforcement, the military, and healthcare professionals. 
these are only a few of many applications of ICT. Almost all types of industry uses ICT to improve productivity, effectivity, quality of different tasks, but most importantly, improve the lives of people. That ends this topic. Thanks for listening.